Thanks so much for tuning back in. We just wrapped up with Pompelmo Gelato, and we are back with some really healthy options with Priscilla Edwards from The Glow Cafe. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Of course, we're so excited. You just opened up, and you're bringing some really awesome plant-based goodness, juices, and smoothies to the Elmhurst area of Providence, and we are just happy to have you. Absolutely. Uh, just opened up, you know, just uh, getting our, our feet wet, but it's been awesome so far. Of course. So let's start off by, I would love to hear a little bit about yourself, your background, and how you decided to open up the Glow Cafe. And so I have a sports background, athletics. Um, I was a former athlete, college athlete. I played college basketball. Um, I coach college basketball. That's actually my day job. Okay. Um, right down the street at, at Providence at College. At Providence College. So yes. Basketball coach at PC, mm -hmm. what's better than that? We I love mean, PC, go Friars. Go Friars. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so I'm the associate head coach there, and uh, I've always, you know, been into health and wellness for my playing career. Um, you know, just as I got older, got into things that would help me, uh, you know, have more energy or prevent injuries. So, uh, for me, it was just a natural transition to, to kind of get into smoothies or to juices or to even a vegan lifestyle. So. Um, you know, one day, I w I've always had a dream of opening a little shop or something quaint. A little cafe. A uh, little something. something yeah. You know, a little something. Something um, that's your own. I definitely didn't think it would uh, happen this quickly in the turnaround, but just some opportunities came up. And you have to jump on them. Got to jump on them. they present themselves, and it seems like this kind of just worked out in your favor. Absolutely. Uh, so it's right down the street from campus, and, um, you know, I, I was able to kind of make it happen, and here we are. Absolutely. So what was your vision when you opened the Glow Cafe, what were you hoping to bring to the community? Well, I mean, even from the name, the Glow, like I, I wanted to bring something that was going to light up the community. You Definitely. know, just I just something that. that people were into, or even if they weren't into, didn't realize that they could be into it. Um, you know, maybe with, it was missing before. Exactly. We definitely didn't have any juice cafes in the area, so exactly. we're very happy to have you. So that was the thought. You know, it's just bringing something that would benefit the community. You know, there's a lot of places that maybe aren't the healthiest, and there are there are an abundance of those. So Absolutely. definitely wanted to, you know, if I was going to open something or bring something into someone's community, um, and as well as my own, I wanted it to be something that was going to help lift it up, you know, whether it's through the, the food that we offer or just the experience when they came. Definitely, because we know that when we go in, we're getting a glowing smile from you, and Absolutely. it's just a friendly experience all around. <laughs> Absolutely. So tell me a little bit about what you offer at the Glow Cafe. What can we find on the menu? Ooh, okay. So of course, we have juices, uh, fresh vegetable and fruit juices, mm -hmm. but we also have fruit smoothies. Uh, we also have protein smoothies, and then we have acai and smoothie bowls. Mm -hmm. And we have my personal favorite, which is our vegan uh, vegetable patties. Oh, my God. So let's start off with the vegetable patties okay. because I had one the other day, and they are just so, so good. And they're very filling, they're very hearty, and they're all vegetarian or vegan? All vegan. All wow, vegan. all vegan. So you, this really goes to show you that you don't necessarily need meat to have something that is going to make you feel full, but also make you feel good. Absolutely. So tell me about how you make them, what goes into them. They're just delicious. So they're actually from a family bakery, um, you know, from some friends of the family. And, uh, you know, it's Jamaican inspired, of course. So, you know, when you think about Jamaican patties, most people think beef patty or yeah, chicken patty yeah. or jerk chicken. Well, they kind of put a twist on it with a vegan style. Um, and we offer lentil. We offer mixed veggie. We also offer tofu. Um, and we also offer a kale. So, you know, it gives you a lot of variety, you know, so yeah. whether you're looking for something that's a little heartier or, or a little bit more, you know, ump to it, you know, maybe a, a lighter lunch, yeah. um, we definitely have a patty that can kind of fulfill that. Most people get intimidated by them, but once they try them, they, right. they fall in love with yeah. the flaky crust. I so. think that when people hear vegan, they're like, oh, it, it's going to just be like, taste like grass. Or right. They have <laughs> this preconceived notion of vegan, but really it's, it's super delicious and you know, there's tons of flavors in it that go into you know, the spices, that, the herbs that really make it, you know, just a, an amazing palate. You hit it on the head. So. Uh, very good. <laughs> so I've been hearing tons of things about acai bowls. Right. They're just delicious. What goes into them and what makes them so good? Well, we have one here. Yes. Um, this is the classic acai bowl, right? So, in here, so has a little bit of everything. So yeah. with the classic acai bowl, for those that don't know, acai is a berry it's from Brazil. Um, and the key about acai is, is antioxidants, right? Okay. So you talk about things that help with cell recovery. Cells pretty much fun, you know, help with your functioning of everything. So when people are thinking about health and wellness and, and how can they eat things that are going to help them feel better or have more energy, Definitely. you can't go wrong with things that are antioxidants. So this acai bowl has a banana and acai blend 
right? And you top it with coconut, uh, we have cacao nibs, we have almonds, we have granola, and then we also have some strawberries. Now, all the bowls are customizable, so if you're okay. someone who maybe wants to go on the less sweeter side, you can always swap out something for some nuts. Uh, we have grape nuts. We have different options for, okay. for people's uh, needs or, or preferences. So there is a lot of good stuff packed in a little bowl. You know, you have antioxidants, you've got banana, potassium, all of these different vitamins, minerals, and good stuff. And, Absolutely. you know, I think a lot of the time people are intimidated by sugar and, like, eating a lot of fruit. But all of this is natural sugar, and it's definitely processed in your body differently than just eating a cookie. That Absolutely. might be very sugary. So this is definitely good for you food that is going to really help with health and wellness. Absolutely. And that's the key and definitely something that I was conscious about was just, you know, people get nervous about sugar. They get nervous yeah. about different things, carbs, things. Everything's about moderation, right? So I always, and I'm the first one to preach, people ask, well, can I eat this every day, three times a day? And I'm just yeah. like, well, anything you eat that much, probably, you know, you'll find something that isn't great for you. But it's absolutely a great thing to incorporate once in a while, you know, once, twice a week, once a day, maybe, um, you know, as well as the different things that we offer. So you can come mm -hmm. in one day, get a bowl. You can come in one day, get a patty. You know, you come day yeah. one day, get a juice um, or a shot. So That's a different variety of a little bit of absolutely. everything. Absolutely. Yes. So as a coach and as an athlete yourself, how do you feel that juicing and this kind of, you know, diet or lifestyle fits into that? I wish I would have discovered it when I was playing, to right. be honest, you know, because there's so many things that happen in our bodies naturally that can also be cured naturally, right? So Absolutely. when you talk about, especially as athletes or people who are into lifting or things like that, you, inflammation, you know, dealing with mm -hmm. uh, swelling joints or just nagging injuries, there's so many natural ingredients and in things that we offer or the things that are accessible to us that can help with that, right? So we talk about my ginger shot, for example, it has turmeric in there and turmeric is really good for inflammation. Okay. So now you're talking about starting your day with things that are natural for you. You know, you can get it right from your grocery store and it can help you to relieve some pain or some aches that you have going on in your body. So that's a really important thing is just about as an athlete or even as an everyday person. There are things that you can eat every day or incorporate in your diet that can help you better than most medicines can or anything else out there. Absolutely. We are what we eat. And, you know, if you're having any kind of aches, pains or ailments, definitely look at your diet and what you're putting into your body first. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. So you've got tons of good stuff in store. And you mentioned that you have little shots. So you have ginger yes. shots and wheatgrass. So you can, it's kind of like a fast way to get a whole bunch of good stuff into your body. Absolutely. So it's small in size, but it's huge in, in terms of value mm. and in and it's really dense and it's actually filled with so many vitamins and minerals and nutrients wow. that are key to your body. And then the whole thing about juicing, the whole thing about taking shots is you're getting the nutrients, right, with the removed fiber. So it's hitting your bloodstream and it's hitting your system way quicker than if even a smoothie for that. Because a smoothie right. has fiber incorporated into it because the fruit is all mashed together. But at the same time, it's more filling, right? So right. when you think about the juice side of things, that's if you need a pick-me-up or you need that energy mm -hmm. pretty quickly. Whereas a smoothie is if you want a, that, that those nutrients, longer term. but you want a longer yeah. term and you want something that maybe can be a meal replacement or something to hold you over to your next meal. Definitely. You would have a wealth of knowledge of all of this, and I'm sure that, you know, as an athlete, you probably recommend this to your players and, and you know, having that health and wellness lifestyle. And it really is a lifestyle. It's not just, you know, like you have one wheatgrass shot and then all of a sudden Everything you're healthy and you're, like, you know, all better. It really is committing to this and, and really looking at what you're putting into your body. And, and we definitely appreciate you bringing that into, into Providence. We're so happy to have you. Thank you. Happy so tell us where we can find you. Um, your address so that we can all come in and check you out. Sure, so you guys can find us on 389 Admiral Street. Uh, we're located conveniently right at the intersection. So if you just drive straight and you look for the glow sign, yes. <laughs> you definitely will see us there. Awesome. Well, we can't wait to come in and try the patties and all the juices and really start to feel healthy. Wonderful. Of course. Thank you so much for joining us. And Thank don't you. go anywhere because we have our fourth and final guest coming right up.